Yo, what is up, YouTube? Hello, guys, it's Stormy here, and I'm back at it again with another Watchers of Realms video, guys. Today, I'm making my first ever Should You Summon This Weekend video, guys. Um, there's a lot of events going on, and uh, in short term, or in short, I personally do not think it's worth it to summon this weekend. Uh, I'll give you guys my thoughts and my opinion, so take it as you will. Uh, but first of all, there will be a guaranteed event, summoning event guaranteed for 250 rare summons, guys. Uh, for this new hero, new fighter here from the Triblade Demon Bane, Faustia. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing her, uh, but she's from the Nodener. So first off, I, I don't think the Nodener really boosts her since she's a fighter. If only she was in like the Nightmare faction, it will be great for her. But We'll, we'll see how she does though. It says right here she does true damage, multi strike attack, and she's also a mixed damage. Every 20 basic attack, she gains this stance for 25 seconds, um, and then she also gains specialized attack. Let's go single target attack. So this is just doing what damage to one enemy, and then this her ultimate guys. Her ultimate deals 100% normal damage five times. So that's 500% damage. Um, Wait, so she deals 500% normal damage. She also does 500% magic damage. Oh, I see. I see. So that's that's what they mean by mixed attack or mixed damage. So it looks like um she's she's gonna be good for like single bosses, guys. She's single target, it looks like. Let's see her passive. When the hero is, is in the dragon stance, it increases her damage by 30%. Oh, that's nice. That's actually nice. When the hero is shielded increases damage by an extra 20% okay when the hero is shielded increases damage by 20% okay there's a lot of damage increase guys there's a lot of damage increase from reading actually reading these skills that's actually crazy okay and she have another passive when deployed immediately enters the stance that lasts for 25 seconds oh my gosh okay so if you level this up it gets two, 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 the, the six. So it gets ten more seconds. It gets ten more seconds uh, for her stance. I think this is great. This is awesome. However, though, I feel like back to my beginning point. I feel like she will benefit a lot more if she was in the nightmare uh, faction instead of the northerner. But I'm not sure though. I'm not sure if uh, how she's uh, compared to like the the beast fighters like there's already so much crazy fighters out there like Zillatu, Arrogant, um, Valeria there's just so much to compete with and there's not really like room to like uh, place like she's let's be honest guys her her best um, place for her is probably gonna be Gilboss but like for Gilboss you you must use Dolores everyone uses Dolores if you have her and Dolores you can only put three um, fighter down so only three of the the tile down because uh, that's what her Dolores range is and um, you just compete with so much uh, good crazy uh, fighters like Zilla 2 uh, even Deimos, Valeria, uh, Arrogance it's just that she's have a lot of competition guys on paper she reads pretty well but like I said Northerner is kind of a turn off plus Another thing that I, I think you guys shouldn't pull on this banner is that it takes 250 summons, guys. That is not easy to obtain. That's why it takes weeks, probably months, to probably uh, summon that. For someone like me, if I have shards, I'll just pull it. I, I'm just addicted to gacha in this game, so I just pull. I just summon as soon as I get them. I'm bad at, bad at saving, so I'm never going to get to 250 summons, let's be honest here. Uh, the 250 summons, in my opinion, is a lot. And if I'm gonna spend 250 summons, I better get like hot suit in return, you know? Uh, not only that's happening, another 10x is going as well. So there's a increased chance at 10 times during this event as well uh, for the new hero, Aileen, a new healer, everybody, a new healer. I went ahead and I already read her uh, hit. Basically, she receives like this stack of divine moonlight. And uh, it stacks up to 50 times. And what it is, is each stack is healing multiplier plus 1%. So her, her max stack is 50 times. So 50% of healing multiplier is her max. So she just puts healing multiplier on herself. And then uh, 
heals everyone based on her attack and range and then she um i think she speeds up her heals by 100 percent 15 seconds on her ultimate i also increases her healing multiplier so she's in increasing a lot of healing multiplier um another thing is i see that she is um allies in range will receive 10 percent less damage as well so that's those are the most notable notable thing about her kit um in turn with aileen i feel like um she she doesn't provide like those offensive stats that other healers does for example guys like uh, hollow and uh, and uh Elowin, those those are incredibly supporter they they heal not only that they heal they have um this really nice offensive stat where they boost everyone wage regen uh, what wage regen boosting does is that it boosts the allies uh, makes them be able to use their ultimate faster quicker uh, use it more often so that's really good uh, but Aileen doesn't provide that I feel like Aileen is just like the, the generic uh, heal crazy heal keep your whole team alive maybe she's gonna be like insane for gear rate 2 but currently I've finished gear rate 2 I've finished stage 21 um, you know I I don't think Aileen is for me personally I I would rather in, in my opinion would rather use hollow who is an epic uh, she might be a little rare for epic but hollow in my opinions provides like this uh, more offensive stat like you know let's go to hollow real quick I let me show you guys what I uh, what I'm talking about if I go to hollow she has like this skill this skill that increases okay where is it where is it uh, when the light bliss is activated it increases rage region right here increases rage for all allies in range for one second um this can be upgraded and so it's just like that like i said her passive energetic bliss increases all allies rage elowin has the same thing as well where her nature's favor she has like this restore rage for all allies this allows your team to use ultimate more more damage more healing more uh more supporting more everything more tanking uh i i i value this more than just pure uh healing keep your team alive uh, but if you guys are struggling if you guys don't have a healer i understand um aileen might be for you but like i said e even if you're just looking for um just pure healing i feel like our boy vortex vortex does a pretty good job healing and shooting that's him guys that's him i feel like uh she she has pretty good competition with the vortex because uh and vortex is just an epic guys it's just an epic okay where is it i i'm just yapping I'm just yapping uh in my opinion aileen is not really hyped before and uh i don't know if she's worth going 10x for guys that it's not even 2x 10x it's just 10x and like uh if you guys have like crazy epics healers already that provides other than just healing and uh little bit of uh this less damage received less damage received it's, it's i don't think it is worth it um not to hate on these guys um i just think guys okay i i want to be honest with you guys christmas is around the the corner i think there's gonna be a crazy events going on during christmas i think these guys are baits guys i i, I don't know i could be crazy but i think these guys are baits uh, I'm not gonna fall for it personally because I'm gonna see what my first Christmas in Watchers of Realms is like. So I'm gonna really, really gonna hope for the best and uh, not fall for the bait, bait tier. Uh, also, alongside with her, alongside Aileen, there's Calypso. So to start with Calypso, she's a marchman from the Piercer. Um, so uh, I have this girl, guys, and uh, I don't use her much because I uh, I got her pretty late. I got her recently actually and um what i do want to say about calypso i feel like she's amazing character if you pull her very early like early game she's probably like insanely good value really nice but in the late game in the maybe even like the mid to late game she starts to fall off because she doesn't scale as much as the other marksmen i i feel like like silas setrims hatsut like i just need three off on top of my head that's better than calypso um, I feel like for a single target damage dealer, sh she needs to provide more. Guys. She needs to provide more. I just, I don't know, just one shot something or something. I, I don't know. Um, 
let me know what you guys think about Calypso. Maybe I'm bashing on her too much. I think she's an incredibly, incredibly good early game unit. But as for a late game, not so good. Mid, 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 mid. Overall, I, on the term of, um, if I were to grade uh, this times 10 uh, event, I would literally give it pretty low, guys. Pretty low because the epics is not really uh, attractive. Calypso is not even top tier. Mid, mid, mid at best. Aideen, you know, again, she just heals. She just heals and reduces a little bit of damage. She doesn't provide any offensive buff, so it doesn't really attract me. Um, but that was my thought and opinion for Faustia. Um, what's your name? Aileen and Calypso 10x this weekend. Please, please, please let me know if you guys um, thoughts. Let me know, guys, if you guys are planning to summon. Um, some of you guys might just summon because they look cool, guys. Like in my opinion, I think I think Aileen looks cool. I think Aileen looks fantastic, guys. I think it looks awesome. But for me, I'm more of like meta, or actually, maybe maybe I prefer like meta uh, to to help me progress. Then once I progress everything, then I'll go for looks. But right now, I'm definitely not even close to completing everything. So you know, maybe in the future, if there's uh, a rerun of Aileen, I'll go for it once I finish all my my stuff but i feel like i'm just you know just talking about nonsense on and on hope you guys enjoy this video um this is a pretty long video hope you guys subscribe like if you uh enjoy this content um please please let me know in the comment what you guys want to see more uh until next time guys good luck in your summons subscribe for better gacha luck and um you know peace